If you want to animate a character speaking, you're going to need to learn how lip sync works. There are a lot of helpful charts out there that show what mouth shapes to use for different sounds. We'll go over some of these shapes, but mostly just to show you how to draw them. You can memorize which goes with which sound, but I honestly find that to be a waste of time when you can easily use yourself as a reference. I have a small mirror, and you can also use your phone camera. Just mouth the words you want to animate, and there you go. It's like taking a test, but with all the answers in front of you. I'm sure people who have spent a lot of time animating lip sync have all the shapes memorized due to drawing them so much, but it's really not necessary. And even if I had all of this mastered and learned by heart, I would still want to use my mirror. I find it helps me make my characters talking feel more genuine and realistic, and there are so many subtleties that charts just can't capture. Anyways, let's go over the mouth shapes you should know. Now is a good time to get out a mirror or your phone camera to follow along. Anyone seeing you doing this might think you're crazy for making weird faces at yourself, but that's their problem. I myself am writing out this script in a public space and hoping no one notices. A basic open mouth can be a lot of sounds, vowels mostly, like ah. Uh, uh, eh, eh, etc. This mouth shape can also be changed by emotion. If the person is happy, this will be a smiley mouth, and if they are more serious, it'll be a serious mouth. The o, a, u sounds, however, cannot be smiley. Even if the speaker is happy, their mouth will take a break from the smiling to make this open circular shape. What beginners often want to do with lip sync is maintain the character's expression in every frame. Even if your happy character doesn't look happy in every single frame, they will look happy in the finished animation. Another important mouth shape to know is this one. It looks quite awkward on its own, but as only one frame, it really helps make certain sounds believable. When making a la, l, or th sound, your tongue touches your upper teeth or the roof of your mouth. You can't make these sounds otherwise. For some sounds, the mouth is open with only teeth showing. For example, d and j. Similarly, the ch sound is just teeth, but more puckered going forward than stretching out to the sides of the face. For a pff or m mm sound, the upper teeth will touch the lower lip. The last one I'll mention here is a simple closed mouth. This can be for a p, b, or m mm sound, and the more enunciated the sound is, the wider the mouth will stretch. This mouth could be m, mm, and this one could be m. Mm. With all that said, here's my previous example with more accurate mouth shapes, but notice how the mouth and words don't seem to quite line up. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is a common problem, and it's usually caused by the mouth shapes being made a bit too late. Scooching your audio back slightly will most likely solve the issue. Here's my animation again. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. That looks much better, but one more thing I can do to improve this is add some motion to the character. Even a slight change in position of the head or a blink will make this feel much more natural. And that's all. Bye!